This video will teach you the easiest way to complete basic bumper construction for your robot. First, let's go over some tools you'll need. You'll need double-sided tape, scissors, a Phillips head screwdriver, a staple gun, some straight pins, an iron, a sharp knife, an electric knife is useful but any sharp knife will do, a drill, and a pen or pencil. For materials for each set of bumpers, you will need 8 pool noodle pieces, 4 pieces of plywood, 5 inches wide by 3 quarter inches thick, a roll of RoboPromo bumper material, your RoboPromo iron on numbers, and remember to order 2 sets of numbers as you will need them for both your red and blue sets of bumpers, and finally RoboPromo bumper brackets if necessary. The first step is to measure the frame of your robot. Get a measurement for each side that will be protected by the bumpers. Next, cut the boards to length. If your team doesn't have the ability to cut these to size in your shop, stores such as Lowe's, Menards, and Home Depot where you bought the wood from will usually be willing to cut them for you. To make this next step easier, the two pool noodles can be welded into one solid piece. For a quick video on how to do this, visit robopromo.com. Now attach lengths of double-sided tape to each of the boards. You can now attach the foam, and make sure you leave at least a 4 inch overhang on each side for the next step. Now cut the foam at a 45 degree angle, leaving about a 3 quarter inch overhang off the end of the board. Repeat this process for each bumper. Make sure all angles are flaring out and not in so the corners fit together properly. At this point, check to make sure all the bumpers are fitting together as they should. The bases of the board should meet to create a 90 degree angle, and the foam pieces should come together to create a 90 degree angle as well. There should also be a small gap between the boards and the foam that you can fit your finger in. If all of this checks out, you are in good shape and ready for lesson 2 on team number application.